First off, I'm sorry about the ugly background image. I'm just tired of Paramount hitting me with a takedown notice every time I review one of their movies. When I first heard about Arrival, I thought it was going to be a remake of The Arrival, a movie from the 90s with Charlie Sheen. Then, not too long after that, I saw the promotional image with uh, Amy Adams holding the sign that said human on it. So right then and there, I knew that uh, this wasn't going to be a remake of that because there wasn't anything like that in the original. And somehow I managed to avoid the trailers. I managed to avoid anything spoilery on this. Uh, The only thing I knew was that it had Amy Adams, uh, Jeremy Renner, and that it was some sort of sci-fi. So, much like Nerve I went to see a few months ago, I went into this cold and not knowing anything. And I really enjoyed it. It's part of that crop of uh, more serious, thought-provoking sci-fi that we've been seeing a lot more lately. Now, I'm not saying that we never get any uh, thought-provoking sci-fi, but it seems like with movies like Interstellar and the upcoming movie Passengers that they're trying to push these larger-budget sci-fi movies that have a little bit more behind them. It's not just Independence Day resurgence where aliens show up, we blow them up. This is a little more reflecting back on humanity humanity through the lens of aliens. I'll try to keep the basics of the plot down to the bare minimum so as to not spoil this for anybody. One day, 12 gigantic alien ships land all over different places on the Earth, and uh, they're trying to communicate with the various governments and military. Each one of the ships is in a major world power. There's uh, one in the U.S., there's one in Russia, so on and so on. So in the U.S. portion, the government brings in Amy Adams, who's this linguist, and they have her interacting with the aliens as they're trying to find a common ground so they can understand each other. And that's it. I'm not going to go any further than that. The movie had a tremendous opening. I thought the uh, beginning of it was handled incredibly well. And then after the opening that they had was when the alien ship showed up. And I thought that that was done in a way that was actually kind of similar to Independence Day, but done on a way more serious level with the alien ships showing up and uh, everybody's like glued to the news and uh, people are crashing their cars into each other because they're looking out the window. Uh, It was done in a similar but different way and in a way that uh, it felt right it felt kind of how it would happen if this ever did happen here on earth Amy Adams gives a fantastic performance. She is just phenomenal in this. I like her more and more every time I see her. She just is uh, very interesting and uh, delivers a a very layered performance in this. Jeremy Renner, I like him a lot. Uh, It was kind of funny to see him playing a little bit more of a um, scientist role rather than an action role because lately, the past few years, he's just been doing the Avengers and the one Bourne movie and Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunt. So he's definitely veered into a lot of action stuff. So this was a lot more of a realistic role for him. And he nailed it. He was great. Forrest Whitaker's always good. He didn't have a giant part in this movie. But for the time when he was there, he was really good. The only downside I could see to this is the pacing is very slow. It fit the movie, though. I never felt bored because everything that they were doing was intriguing and interesting, but it did feel like a long movie. I mean, it was a two-hour movie, but it was a two-hour movie that did feel like a two-hour movie. It did take its time to get where it needed to go, but I don't know. I don't think a rushed pace would have worked with this. So it was a little bit slow, but I, I didn't mind it too much. I have a feeling some people probably won't get into it because of that, but Uh, For me personally, I thought it worked. There is one big thing that I didn't like, but it's a major spoiler. So I will put that over on the spoiler side of things. So I won't mention it now. Arrival is a very thought-provoking, interesting sci-fi movie. Definitely one of those movies that you're going to need to see at least twice to really piece everything together. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm seeing a lot of people saying that this should be up for Oscars and whatnot. And I don't know about like an Oscar for best movie, but I could definitely see Amy Adams getting an Oscar nomination for best actress. She was that good. Okay, so this is the spoiler portion. This doesn't really ruin the movie, but still you should go see the movie first and then come back and listen to this. Okay, so Amy Adams is talking with the aliens and trying to find some common ground and figure out their language. And at a certain point, the governments start to get antsy. So instead of being like, okay, the aliens are cooperating with us, they haven't done anything aggressive, we're learning from them, they're learning from us, and this is taking a while, but there's no reason to think that uh, they're going to harm us. 
nope, these aliens are taking too long. We can't figure this out. They're going to blow us all up at some point. And of course, the military goes out and goes all gung-ho and tries to blow up the alien ships. That just really bothered me because the movie was so unique. The movie felt like a breath of fresh air as far as uh, science fiction was concerned, how the military was letting the linguist do her job and figure things out. And it kind of went into every other science fiction movie that had aliens in it. Oh, the aliens were afraid of them. Them and they're taking too long, so let's blow them up before they blow us up. It did factor into the rest of the movie. I like the way that they resolved it, but I feel that they probably could have handled that in a different way, and it wouldn't have come off so incredibly cliched. It did add for some tense moments in like the final half hour of the movie, but still, it just annoyed me, because that's been done to death at this point. But that's it. That was my one major nitpick of the film. We'll be right back. 